Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from Clear Path Robotics and today I'll be walking you through how to create and complete some autonomous indoor missions. Now today we'll be using the ClearPath Dingo mobile robotics platform as well as the indoor navigation software. Now inspired by the World Cup finals this weekend, we'll have the Dingo complete a series of soccer drills. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. The Dingo is an indoor mobile robotics platform notable for its lightweight and compact design. Now there are two different drive systems, either the Dingo D with the differential drive or the Dingo O with an omnidirectional drive. This robot also offers Ross and Gazebo integration and is compatible with a variety of robotic sensors and accessories. This makes it ideal for a wide range of robotics applications, so let's see how it handles some soccer drills. First, we need to create a map of our environment. Inside of Indoor Nav, we will create a new map, then select Map, Record Map Data, and begin recording. Now, as we drive around, we can easily generate a map of the robot's environment using SLAM. Next, we will add an exclusion zone by selecting Traffic, Exclusion Zone. This will define areas where the robot is not able to drive and set the boundaries for our soccer field today. Indoor Nav has lots of different options for zones that can be added by the user depending on the needs of their application. It's important to mention that Indoor Nav is also ROS compatible and fully extensible with a documented API making it easy to work with and integrate into your project. Additionally, I'm going to add an annotation to the map that shows where the goal is. This annotation won't affect the robot's behavior, it's just for me to be able to see while creating my waypoint so I can help set the robot up to score some goals. For our first drill, the robot will need to score a goal, but in order to get to that goal, it will have to find its way through five pylons that are spread out across the playing field. To do this, I will set a waypoint on the other side of the pylons and a waypoint at the goal where the soccer ball will sit. I won't be placing any other waypoints along the way and instead I will let the indoor nav continuous path planning features determine the best way to make the play. Finally, I will create a workflow that will send the robot to each waypoint. This can be executed from the drive controls window. This next drill will require the robot to complete a set play to score a goal. Note that the pylon formation has switched and that they are now grouped into three pairs. To set up our play, we will add two additional waypoints to the map and we will reuse our scoring waypoints from drill one. We will complete this play using two workflows. The first workflow will guide the robot down the field. Once it completes this workflow, it will wait for user input, then continue on with running our workflow from drill number one to take a shot at the goal. For the last drill, we will have the robot weave through three pylons in a straight line towards the goal. To do this, we will use teleoperation to make use of the omnidirectional wheels of the Dingo O. There are two different ways to use teleoperation with this robot, either using the teleoperation joystick in the indoor nav web-based user interface or with a physical joystick.
That's all for today's video, however don't forget to subscribe because there will be more interesting robotics videos coming very soon. Now if you enjoyed our video today make sure to give it a like and if you have any questions just leave those in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.